It's an exciting moment in the season because for the first time you're going to analyze what's going on inside the hive and on the frames, which are really the heart of the colony. Now these analyses we call inspections and we do them once a week from the moment we set up the hive all the way to the preparing machine for winter. The best time to do an inspection is on a hot and sunny day early in the afternoon. But you got to watch out because if it's too cold or too hot, the bees just get a little cranky. So ideally if you're comfortable outside in a t-shirt, temperature is probably right. Personally, before I do an inspection, I try to make a mental note of what I need to do to make sure I don't forget anything. And in the case of the first spring inspection, there's three things we need to remember. One, is the queen present and laying eggs? Two, does the colony have enough space to grow inside the hive? And three, are there any of those famous queen cells? It might be a good idea to check out the video on queen cells before you do start this inspection. Ready to do this? First, you always want to put a bit of smoke in front. It calms the guard bees and prevents communication between them and the rest of the colony. If you do remember, we have put five frames of bees on one side and five empty frames on the other. The bees have probably started building up a few frames, but you only want to add a second bee box when eight of those frames are built up entirely. In our case, we're only at seven frames, but if your hive has grown quicker, go and check out the video on how to add the second bee box. You always want to start with the second frame. It's just easier to take out and avoids to pry off the box. Use your thumb and your index to pull the frames out. And remember, do this really slowly. You want to avoid rolling the bees. After I've put both frames on the frame holder, the other ones we could just space out to give us a little room to take out the extra frames. On this frame, the bees have started putting honey and pollen. It's great news, but still doesn't answer any of our questions. Okay, on this one I can see young larva that's about five days old. That's a clear indication the queen is present in laying eggs. By now we've answered two of our three questions. Is the queen laying eggs? Yes. Does the colony have enough space to grow? Yes. But we still haven't answered the third question, are there queen cells? To discover that we have to go through all of the other frames. You always want to check the bottom of the frame because that's where the swarm cells are and that's the ones we're looking for. None on these. Okay. Last frame. Ooh, this one has young eggs. Uh, if you know what that means, it means the queen is probably close by. Oh, there she is. She's gorgeous. When you do find the queen, take some time to look at her. She's absolutely stunning. But just watch out, because you're holding the fate of the colony in your hands, so you want to take some time and slowly put her back in. Now we've gone through all the frames and we're about to put them back together. Now before we do that, it's good to reorganize the frames a little bit and have the honey and the pollen on the extremities and brew it in the center. It's just better to keep the temperature like that. Now this colony is doing just fine. Next inspection happens in one week. And I have a hunch we're going to have to bring a second bee box because it's spring and as flowers bloom, colonies boom. <laughs>